Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. And this is the Daily Three Card Reading. And this is the Daily Three Card Reading for February 12th. And the energy is gratitude. I have nothing more to say. <laughs> well, while I'm shuffling. Um, yeah. Enjoying it for what it is. All right. You know, it's really interesting. The only real consistency that I've had pretty much for the last, since I've been here, which is almost a year. In fact, tomorrow's the 12th, so it's 11 months tomorrow. Well, maybe it's the 13th, but whatever, is the weather. It's the really only consistent thing that I've had. And uh, boy, the weather here is really nice. The weather here is really nice. All right, one, two, three. So I say gratitude. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, all these lovely, loving cards, like the cutter joy will come up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, the devil, the page of cups and the chariot. You know, what's interesting. It's Capricorn cancer opposites. Um, the devil, the, the devil card is really, it's about a false path. I mean, at the end of the day, if it all, you know, every single, in a certain way, um, every time you, every other explanation of the devil, the way I understand it is like, it's all just an illusory false path. Um, I, I mean, every single, so it's toxicity and it's like uh, drug addiction, like codependency, and you know it, it's um, being tied to something that's unhealthy, um, an unhealthy obligation, being in the dark, not seeing things. It's all that. So it's it's a false path, right? Okay. And then I have the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups actually is kind of lovey dovey. And he's very, because um, pages have an, an energy of being inexperienced, right? I would say young energy, but it's really more of an energy of like naivete, being, being inexperienced. Um, and there's something sweet about that. You know, it's sort of like, uh, like the kid who shows up with the bow tie and his pants are too short and, you know, two different socks and doesn't even know it. You know, it's a little bit like that, right? It's like a little bit of a cartoon. and But the Page of Cups offers a gift, offers intuition, offers listening, offers love, offers um, healing, all that. And then we have the Chariot. The chariot's really interesting. Um, so the Chariot is the card of Cancer, but the, the Chariot has this energy of uh, going into unknown territory um, in a... Uh, I, with an I can do it type of attitude, like with an I can do it, you know, um, confident, confident, and also a little bit lucky, a little bit like uh, a little bit lucky in a way. I always feel like that with the chariot. I, I don't know if that's the real meaning of the car, but that's how I feel about it. Um, so I think, you know, the devil, so, uh, you know, talking about gratitude. Okay. <clears throat> I think many of us, I know I, right? I go through my life and, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, I, I think in, in Western society, it's like, we feel like we're missing something. It's like, I don't have enough stuff or it's not good enough or it could be better. I want a better job. I want more money. La, 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 la. I want a better car, a bigger house, more clothes, more jewelry, et cetera. And it, it's like, 
you know, it's, you know, continually tying yourself to something that's false. Like, I'll be happy if I had a bigger house. I, I'd be grateful if I had a bigger house instead of being grateful for the fact that you do have a house, that you do have a roof over your head, right? There's a window in my room. There's running water, right? And then I have the page of cups who's sort of like, and I, I think this is the attitude to take, this attitude of like seeing things with fresh new eyes and loving everything I see. Well, maybe not loving, but appreciating. Let's say that, appreciating everything I see. Because that will take you on a new road. That'll take you on a new road. And that'll maybe take you to a place you haven't seen before. Yeah, like, because he's an astronaut. He goes off into outer space, right? So he's like kind of going to a place he's, uh, that's a little bit unfamiliar, a little bit like, I wonder what that is. You know, this sense of um, curiosity and a sense of, um, I don't know, wonder, adventure, right? There's no adventure in this one. There's no adventure. It, you know, it's like uh, being in a rut and and feeling like you're going to be stuck in the rut forever, right? Or creating reality in your head, like, oh, it's always like this, you know, that. And then we have the page of cups with some, like an inkling of maybe things could be kinder, more loving, more intuitive, more um, healing, more, you know, different different maybe you're going to go to that down to the seashore and watch the waves all right um and then you know it, it's that, like if you use your third eye you can go somewhere else if you use the third eye and and use your the television in your head then you can go somewhere else and you know that in, in order to raise our vibration and the way we see the world, it's like maybe we have to see it through rose-colored glasses sometimes. Because I think, you know, people are like, oh, well, you know, you're so, you know, it's rose-colored glasses, it's not reality. Yeah, but this isn't reality either. So. Gratitude. Blessings.